Hey guys, uh, welcome to fourth lecture of module one. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to uh, discuss uh, on DFT and IDFT equation, defining defining DFT and IDFT equation. Okay, so DFT of a discrete time discrete time signal signal x of n is given by is given by given by so we usually call it as dft in a bracket of x of so dft of x of n is equal to it is x of k capital x of k is equal to the formula is summation x of n the input is x of n here and the output what we get is x of k where n is varying from 0 to n minus 1 we are going to take totally capital n number of samples e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n ok so where k is varying from 0 to n minus 1 so this equation is called as analysis equation so this is called as uh, if i call it as equation 1 so equation 1 equation 1 is called as called as analysis analysis equation so i have to talk about few uh, uh, parameter in this equation so where where so what is x of k x of k is the signal or sample it's a samples samples in frequency domain frequency domain uh, k is the index in x of k k is the index which addresses addresses the samples samples in frequency domain frequency domain ok so this is about x of k and k so x of n what is x of n it is the input signal and this signal is this is a signal or it's a sample it's a sample in time domain it's a time domain signal ok in time domain and what is n n same as uh, k here but it is the index which addresses the samples which addresses addresses the sample samples in time domain okay so k is also called as this k is also called as also called as we also called it call it as bin number and what is this bin number i will let you know later okay and n so what is capital n here capital n here is number of number of samples we take number of samples samples or also called as number of points number of points given a sequence we usually take 2 point dft 4 point dft 8 point dft so on so this number of points is told by this capital n fine so this k is an integer this k is an integer which is varying from where to where 0 to n minus 1 and again this n is also an integer which is varying from where to where it is varying from where to where 0 to n minus 1 ok so this is about so dft equation from where we get this from where we got this equation we already derived it right so in frequency domain sampling so what was the equation we had I will write it here x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to what summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 x p of n e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n where k is varying from 0 to n minus 1 so we know this equation right so just compare these two 
So instead of writing x of 2 pi by n into k, we just normalize this 2 pi by n and we simply by, for, simply we write it as x of k. Instead of writing xp of n, we are write, writing x of n. Basically, whatever the uh, samples, the range of samples we take, we assume that it is a periodic signal. Okay, so this equation is actually equation for DFT, also called as analysis equation. So next we discuss equation equation to get to get inverse inverse discrete Fourier transform, also called as IDFT. Okay. So IDFT of a IDFT of a signal or sequence x of k is given by is given by we usually call it as IDFT of x of k is equal to x of n which is equal to 1 by n a scaling factor okay so summation x of k here input is x of k and output what we get from the equation is x of n. So k is varying from 0 to n minus 1 e power j 2 pi by n into k n. So this is actually uh, IDFT equation. It is also called as synthesis equation. Synthesis equation. DFT equation is called as analysis equation and this equation is called as synthesis equation. So where, where, again what is x of k, x of k same as what we had in for DFT uh, samples in frequency domain. k is what? Index which represent, which represent samples in frequency domain also called as pin number what is x of n x of n is samples in time domain and what is n index which represents which represents samples in samples in time domain and what is so what is n n is number of number of points or number of samples okay again from where did we get this equation uh, in frequency domain sampling what was the equation we had x of n is equal to 1 by n summation x of 2 pi by n into k so where k is varying from 0 to n minus 1 e power j 2 pi by n into k n right so I forgot to put the range of n so here n is varying from where to where 0 to n minus 1 ok in DFT equation k is varying from 0 to n minus 1 here n is varying from 0 to n minus 1 so both n and k are varying from 0 to n minus 1 so this is about IDFT equation